All right, let's talk about what to do when you're done with a project. Hi, Christy Cubs. So as we are finishing our very first project of the year, I wanted to go over some of the options for when you're done. So whenever you're finished, please show me your work. Um, I might give you a challenge. I might give you some tips to make it even better. But if you feel like you're completely done and you're happy with it, there's plenty of activities to choose from so that you're not bored. We have free draw, which of course you can take and you can free draw at your table if needed. We have some pencils over here if I don't already have them out. Expo board, markers, and the boards, please only use Expo board markers on the boards, otherwise it will stain. If you need a paper towel, just go over to the sinks and you can pump that thing, I don't know what it's called, and get some paper towels. And over here we have origami paper. This is only for those who know how to use origami. So if you don't know how to make anything in origami, you don't need that one. Texture plates, um, what you do is you put this under a piece of paper and then go over it with like a crayon or colored pencil and you can get a texture on your paper. Blocks, I prefer only four people work with blocks and you can do that on the carpet over here. Scrap paper, this just means um, just random pieces of paper that I have found, but you can of course cut or use them in any way that you'd like. Connector cubes, four people on the rug if you'd like to use those. Shape puzzles, four people. We also have magnetic tiles this year, which are my favorite for people on the carpet only. And of course, if you ever finish an activity, please put it back in the basket and put it away. Some people prefer to be a little bit quieter and read. You're welcome to read on the rug or at your table, it's up to you. We even have some pillows that you can sit on. These are not for throwing or playing with. Please use them to sit while you read a book. And then we also have iPads in the classroom. So let's take a look at the iPad cart. What it says is, have you cleaned your area? If yes, move on to the next one. Have you completed your work? If yes, move on to the next one. Next it says, take the iPad number of your table number. You have a table number and table color. You should know what this number and color is. When you're finished using the iPad or it's time for us to go, it's really important that you swipe away the apps. I'll show you how to do that. And then I always get the question of, do I need to plug it in? We'll talk about that, but if it's under 50%, plug it in. If it's over 50%, Inside don't worry about it. the iPad cart are the iPad expectations yet again, so you can't miss them. And then you see all of the different colors and numbers. So you'll take the one that obviously belongs to you. Please don't take a random one, otherwise someone in the room is gonna be very confused. Right. So obviously you want to be very careful with your iPad. Some iPads have a little red button, some of them are a little bit different, but it's the same thing. You press it to unlock the iPad. A couple things you need to know. All of the apps are on the home screen. In order to get to the home screen, you press the home button right down here. If you've ever used an iPad before, you should know. The lock button is located right at the top right. You press that if you'd like to lock the iPad. Press the home button twice to log into the iPad. The volume controls are up here. Please keep the volume down or you can even put in a headphone into the headphone jack. Plenty of different apps that you can try that are art related. When you see an app that you wanna try, go ahead and hit it. In this case, you can create a 3D clay pot, which we will do later this year. However, it is important that you figure out these apps. It is not my job to train. Whenever you're done with an app, press the home button once and it will take you back to the home screen. The only app that I can think of that will need an extra step is Minecraft Education. When you get to this app, you'll need to actually sign in with your PISD credentials. If you don't know what your PISD email address is, listen up, I'm about to give you a little hint. All right, let's say that I'm Jack Turner. I would type in jack.turner1 or whatever number it is. You're gonna go to the fancy A at mypisd.net. That is your email address. So it's your first name, dot last name, dot one, or whatever number it is, at mypasd.net. Once you get to the next screen, you'll put in your password. This is not your lunch password. This is the password that you use to sign into the computers. I'm gonna sign into my own account, and you can press play. There's different lessons that you can try. We may use this in a project if we decide to use Minecraft as our medium. You can also create a world. There is an option that someone can host a world in, on a different iPad and you can join them. So what's cool about this game is that it's very creative. 
You're able to place blocks, create architecture. Therefore, it's a creative game that we can play in the art room. Whenever you're done though, it's really important that you stop what you're doing and log out. So when you're done, you're going to press the middle button up there, save and exit. You'll go back to the main menu and it's important that you log out of your account, otherwise you'll get hacked or your account will be locked. I'm going to press the little button right down here under my character, sign out, sign out. That way someone else can use it. Also, for all apps, not just Minecraft, you'll need to log out of those apps. You're gonna press the home button twice. How many times? Twice, really fast, boom, boom. And you'll see all the apps that you had open. You're going to take them and swipe them away. The next thing you're gonna look at is your battery. If it's under 50%, plug it in. If it's over 50%, don't plug it in. Do I need to plug in this iPad? No, it's at 96%, it has plenty of battery. We don't wanna plug it in because it could actually ruin the battery if it's been sitting in the iPad cart for way too long. You'll just close your iPad if it has a cover. If it doesn't have a cover, just press the lock button, which like I said, is in the top right, and you are done. You can put this back in the cart following the green arrows, and those are your activities to choose from when you're done.